Geometric scrofita carving has long been one of my personal hallmarks of some of my personal pottery. And recently I have added to my repertoire, not just scrofito, but actual pierced uh, geometric carving. I really enjoy the, um, the architectural uh, qualities of this geometric design. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to, how, how I do it. In this video, I'm going to be carving this bowl. This is approximately an eight pound stoneware bowl. I have thrown it with a rolled rim. If you are not familiar with what a rolled rim looks like, I believe I have another video that um, I'll try to link in the video description. Rolled rim is just when you take it and you flip it over and it has a little hollow space. Um, I'm going to be carving and piercing this though with the geometric design, um, similar to what I've done with some uh, others. Um, I am using just simple tools. I'm laying it all out by hand. I'm going to be using uh, an X-Acto knife for cutting, a needle tool for laying it out, um, a little miniature ribbon tool for carving it, and then also a paintbrush for cleanup. I start out by always laying out my design. Um, I like to work with geometric design, so I often uh, will use some hash points and uh, mark them directly across from each other to uh, subdivide the areas. You can see I'm uh, trying to lay them out lightly, so if I do make a mistake, I can go back and rib over it. Here I'm using just a, I think it's a paper towel for a gauge, basically a ruler. I was trying to make sure that I was marking uh, my marks an equal distance from the foot of the bowl. I am uh, not worried about, you know, true, true precision, but I'm trying to get it as close as I can because I want this to have a handmade appearance, not something that's absolutely perfect and laser cut on a machine. And lastly, I don't show all the complete cleanup, but I do round the edges and I will be cleaning it all up with a paintbrush and uh, allowing it to dry very, very, very slowly. After a slow bisque firing, I then dipped it in a black glaze and then did a slow glaze firing and this is the final result. I'm very pleased with it. Um, you can see that the foot ring, I did wax the foot ring to keep that clean. 